everyone um, welcome back to my channel so I have moved just a quick life update I am back at my home university which is in Philadelphia and this is my new apartment my next video coming up will be an apartment tour since my channel is now half Korea and half lifestyle um, so you can see just a little bit of it now I'll also have some DIY things in the video as I made a lot of stuff that's in my room but uh, no more about that let's just jump right into it this is by far the most requested video that I've ever gotten, and that is how to apply to UL Women's University as a full-time undergrad foreigner. The application process is a lot different than just um, exchange or study abroad, as is you are actually attending university as a full-time student. So the application process is almost the same as any other university. It's just the small factor of you being foreign. And disclaimer, right now, I personally only did exchange study abroad for one semester. So I am not an expert on this, but I went out of my way to talk to someone and get a resource for you guys. But that being said, I have contact information in the description box below. So feel free to ask me questions, but if it's something too major or something that you think I might not know, being as I did not actually do this myself, please email one of, I think I have like four emails, please email one of them. Um, they'll be able to help you much more than I will. I'll still try my best to answer questions, but just definitely refer to those resources. So what I did was I went to the Office of Foreign Admissions. Foreigners have their own admissions office devoted just to them. And um, EWA has about 400 something full-time undergrad foreign students uh, compared to, let's say, uh, Korea University, which is another exceptional school in Korea. They have about 2,000 foreign undergrads. Just to put things in perspective real quick, um, EWA's acceptance rate for native Korean students is about 9.5%, so it is definitely very competitive, but good news for you guys, the acceptance rate is actually a lot higher for foreigners. I couldn't get an exact number on it, there were a lot of different sources, but basically they take into account your cultural and linguistic differences, and they know that you can't compete exactly on the same track as the native students. So they do give you that room a little bit. So they're a lot more lenient, but it's still a very competitive school. To put it in perspective again with other schools, Yonsei, which is across the street, has an acceptance rate of 5% to less than 5%. Korea University is about 25%, but that is 25% of the top students of the top of the high school who apply. So if you're not absolutely at the top and you apply, you probably won't get in. So that acceptance rate, while it seems very high, is actually incredibly selective at the same time because it's only 25% of a certain pool, which is a certain other percent. So there's that whole equation. So that might just put things in perspective where EWA might actually be one of the easier schools to apply to and whereas their acceptance rate is already higher than the others for native students, so it would be higher for foreigner students then too. So anyway, back to how to actually apply to EWA Women's University as a foreigner for full-time undergrad. This is the manual, the holy book that says everything you want in it, except the first half is in Korean. So we're gonna skip right on to the middle. Application schedule, admissions guide for international students. Look how lovely. I'm just gonna run through this with you guys. There's a lot of information. I won't go into specifics for Everything, again, if you have questions, um, let me know. I'll try my best, but really, I'm not, I'm not an expert, even though I'm gonna go through this with you guys. So, in the book, there's the application. Oh, can you see? It might be a light issue, hold on. I should just do the entire video like this. Okay, new angle. <laughs> This is another wall in my room that you'll see later. I hope this works. I should sit all the way in the corner. That works, that's fine actually. I just need to keep my head on that angle. All right, moving forward. So the application schedule, I'm just gonna hold it up for you guys so you can check that out. I don't really feel like reading all of that to you. But I'll put them in the description box below the dates for spring and fall admission. Um, the admission procedure is to complete the online application and you must, must apply for scholarship and um, to live in the dorms while you apply for the regular application. 
I know for a lot of universities in America, at least, you can apply for housing later, but they really don't encourage that. There's very limited housing at EWA, at least, so as soon as you apply online, you need to apply for the other things, too. And I know for the scholarship, there's, aha, scary part, there's only a 1% acceptance rate for the scholarship. So you should definitely apply to that as soon as you can. And then a submission of hard copies of completed application forms and other required documents in person or by postal mail. As you are a foreigner, it might be a little difficult to get something to these people in person. So I would definitely recommend the mail option. But that kind of just reminds me of when you go to apply for your visa too, they send away your documents. And then document evaluation. A screening interview may be required when necessary. The admission procedures are also listed below. I suddenly look so tan. Um, I'll hold those up too. You could maybe perhaps take a screenshot of this if you're on your phone or if you have a Mac. You can do screenshots on PCs too, so. The academic programs. Now, important point of specificity. The only majors that are taught entirely in English are, I believe, International Studies and Korean Studies. I know International Studies at EWA is very mixed between native Koreans and foreigners. The Koreans themselves are required to take the classes in all English, but those are the only two majors and concentrations in the entire school, undergrad and grad, where everything is taught in English. So the rest will be taught at least somewhat in Korean. For the most part, it will be Korean. Um, I know a lot of the beginning classes or electives in your major might be in English because it's actually required of native undergraduate students to take at least one or two classes in English anyway. So they actually have the College of Liberal Arts, the College of Social Sciences, the College of Natural Sciences, the College of Engineering, Music, Art and Design, Business Administration, uh, science and Industry Convergence, the College of Nursing, and Scranton, which is the only division under that is Division of International Studies. I know my nails are like chipping and super gross, I'm sorry. There are a ton of majors available to you guys. Um, not as many as actual EYNs get, but it's still like quite a lot. Mathematics, Chemistry, Architecture. Architecture is actually a five-year degree, but Architectural Engineering is only a four-year degree but there are important points pertaining to specifically only transfer students. So if you're transferring like me, I'm a junior right now, if I decided I loved you all so much and I wanted to go back and I would transfer, then these would apply to me. And those points are, transfer students wishing to apply to communication and media major must apply to journalism major or advertising and public relations major or television and film major in division of media studies. As of the 2016 transfer program, chemistry and nanoscience major and life science major belong to Division of Molecular and Life Science. 2016 transfer students could not apply to chemical engineering and materials science major, Department of Content Convergence, Korean Studies major, for these majors do not have enrollment in 2016. In the beginning of this book, it did say that some of these are subject to change throughout semesters and throughout years. And that's just like with any other universities, sometimes they don't have the staff for it or not enough students have signed up for classes. So if you're coming for Korean studies, just, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it won't be there for 2016, but good news is 2017 is right around the corner. And I know a lot of you guys are in high school anyway. Um, this might not even apply to you, but for those transfer students, no Korean, I'm sorry. Uh, 2016 transfers wishing to apply to Department of Fashion Industry must apply to Clothing and Textiles major. Transfers wishing to apply to Department of Health Convergence must apply to Department of Health Education and Management. And transfers wishing to apply to Sports Science major and Global Sports Management must apply to Human Movement Studies. So, I know in at least America, you apply to a school and you get accepted and you declare your major later. You can write in your acceptance letter what you want to go for, you can put down um, majors and some applications, but it's really not a requirement. In Korea, at least at EWA, you must put down at least the college that you're applying to. So you need to not only apply to the school, but specifically apply to a college. I know someone that um, applied, she went to EWA, I met her through my work, but she applied for engineering and didn't get into the engineering school. So she was currently in another major at EWA, 
So same thing I know with pharmacy school and med school and any kind of like five year program or grad school, you need to apply for it. It's not just a given that you get in, but the same thing goes for undergraduate. You need to apply for the actual college and it is possible that you get rejected. For um, graduate programs, we have a lot less than undergrad, but you have liberal arts and social sciences, natural sciences, engineering, arts and athletics, medicine, and interdisciplinary programs, and number of students to be admitted. Remember earlier, I said they have about 400 something, but there is no exact quota for the number of international students to be admitted. Candidates are selected upon review of their academic ability. There is a special admission process for foreign students. Eligibility to apply, nationality, female foreign nationals whose parents are both foreign nationality. So Korean citizens, including dual citizenship of applicant and both parents, will not be considered eligible for admission. You must apply as a native Korean full-time undergrad. Koreans who obtained foreign nationals, applicant and both parents, are eligible only if she and her parents obtained their foreign nationals before entering her secondary school, grade 10. Only applicable to undergraduate applicants. In terms of education, if you want to be accepted as an undergraduate freshman, Applicant must have acquired high school diploma before September 2016, and if you want to be accepted as a transfer, applicant must have completed at least two years in a university education program before September 2016 and intends to transfer into the third year. So I guess in American terms, you must be planning to complete so, uh, freshman and sophomore at your home university or some other university and then transfer in as a junior third year. For the graduate program, if you're going for a master's, combined master's, or doctorate, applicant must have completed a four-year course university or university equivalent courses and acquired bachelor's degree before September. And for a doctorate, applicant must have completed a postgraduate program and acquired master's degree before September 2016. For the language proficiency, in order to be accepted, these are the requirements, a certificate of level three or above and test of proficiency in Korean topic for undergraduate freshman application and level four for undergraduate transfer or graduate application. So remember I said before that there are only two majors that are conducted entirely in English. So if you want to be accepted, you need to be able to speak Korean at these levels to be able to continue and succeed in your major. And then a test of proficiency in Korean is recognized only if the transcript is submitted by the application deadline. Completing level four or above of Korean language intensive program in E1 language signature. The completion of Korean language intensive program will be recognized only if the certification is submitted by the application deadline. However, those who are still taking course level four during the application period can be considered to fulfill their language requirement conditionally. Those who are accepted conditionally should submit the certificate of completion as soon as the program is completed. If one fails to submit the certificate of completion or complete the course, the acceptance will be canceled. You must have a high school diploma or a bachelor's degree from Korean or English speaking institutions. Applicants admitted to undergraduate courses satisfying Korean language proficiency requirements of A, B, D, or E must gain topic level four prior to graduation. If not, the student may not be able to graduate. Applicant will be accepted for admission through a comprehensive evaluation of her academic ability, achievements, and development potential based on submitted documents. Ooh, a screening interview may be required of the applicant when necessary. An overseas interview or a telephone interview may be arranged for overseas applicants. So, EWA historically, as you know, women's is not a word, but what it is meant to do is symbolize individuality. So it's not just a school for a woman, it's a school for you as an individual woman. That's their whole principle. They really look for individuality. So while they do look for academic excellence, they are also looking for just someone who can bring something unique to EWA. Your GPA might not need to be, you know, sublime. It doesn't need to be perfect. They will definitely look at that stuff. They will look at academics, but there's no required GPA. There's no required test scores for SATs or anything like that. The only thing that's required is that you know Korean and a certain level of it before you graduate. So if you're worried about GPA and things like that, you don't need to be, 
Once again, as I said before, they're much more lenient with foreign students because of cultural and linguistic differences. Going along with what I was saying earlier, where classes are mostly, except for Korean and international studies, taught in Korean itself, the following minimum English proficiency test scores are as follows. For the TOEFL, you need a PBT of 550 and an IBT of 80. For IELTS, you need a 5.5. For TEPS, you need a 550. So English proficiency test scores should be submitted before application deadline or your English proficiency would not be recognized. Undergraduate freshmen or undergraduate transfer applicants who satisfy the qualification of English proficiency can only be admitted to departments or majors whose degree programs are conducted in English. But, important, an applicant who applies for academic programs other than that can be admitted only if the applicant obtains topic level three within a year after admissions and topic level four before graduation. So not only do you need to be accepted on the grounds that you are fluent enough in English and Korean to survive, but you also need to pass topic level three within a year and four before you graduate. So you need to be actively working on your Korean if you don't see yourself as a person who would be studying Korean that much if you wanna go out and just socialize all the time. Um, maybe this isn't for you. It really is a lot of hard work. After that is just a list of required documents, which I won't go through. They're pretty self-explanatory enough. Um, I will detail them more in the description box, however. So the process of actually applying online you need to go to admissions.ewa.ac.kr and go to international students and then announcement. Create a membership account and log in. Check the admissions guide and notice for application. This is the admissions guide. So on this site somewhere you will find this book. Don't worry. And then fill out the admissions application forms and upload a photo. In Korea, for college admissions and for any kind of job application, you must submit a picture of yourself. It goes into this whole psychology of like beliefs and stuff that certain face structure and marks on your face determine your personality and things that you um, are destined to achieve. Like if you have a mole under your eye, it looks like a tear and you might have a sad life and people won't hire you. But I really don't think that's taken very seriously anymore. I think it's just a matter of practice now rather than superstition. Once again, it's just reminding you to apply for scholarship in a dormitory when you fill out the online application. Every important announcement during the admission period will be delivered via email, phone number, and address that applicants specify in the application form. Therefore, applicants should fill out the personal email, cellular phone number, additional phone number, and postal address correctly. So basically, these people will try to contact you in as many ways as they can. And then the application fee payment. In America, at least, this is incredibly common. Some schools charge 40, some schools charge $100. It says you can use credit card, you can transfer from another account. Application fee should be paid during the online application. You cannot go back and pay it later. Registration is accepted when application payment is completed and completed only. So until you pay, they will not review your application. And then you just print out the EWA Women's University submission form, fill out the printed form and sign it, and then submit all of your documents. And then once again, it goes through the documents you need to submit. I will detail those in the description box. And then all admitted students, congratulations if you get to this point, will go through a registration process. At each stage, the individual student will receive specific information via email. Thus, students should specify the email address correctly when writing the application form. Once again, um, just make sure this is an email that you use. And then you must reply to the letter of affidavit. It took Latin for like six years and I don't know how to pronounce that. And then you must obtain medical insurance and submission of insurance certificate. One thing that I saw online is that EWA ranked highest in making sure that their students were properly, um, I don't want to say vaccinated, but I guess that's the best word, um, properly vaccinated and healthy as they can be. I know I had to get a series of shots done before I came to Korea and I am incredibly healthy. Number three, they must pay tuition. Admitted students who are planning to register must pay for the tuition fee during the specified period in the middle of July to the designated bank. And then submission of additional documents for admitted students. So that would be either your English proficiency or your Korean proficiency, stuff like that and then certain certificates, like if you're a transfer, they might need to see your diplomas. And then number five is certificate of admission and student visa. If you need help um, finding out anything for the visa, I went through this process and it was awful. So I made a video, which I will put over here somewhere since there's a lot of space, since I'm at this angle for my glasses. 
um, and you can check that out. I had to go to the consulate in New York City. So if you have any questions, feel free to check out that video. It might be very helpful. And then dormitory application and entrance. So students should apply for dormitory again when submitting their online application. Um, those who apply for dormitory during the admission period have priority to enter the dorm by order of application. Availability of entrance will be individually notified during registration period. So I think it's about 40% of foreign undergrads actually live on campus. There's a lot of places like share houses and just um, low-key apartments outside of Iwa, either in Ide or Xinjiang, where students, I had a friend myself, another American, um, they go on these, they rent these places, so they don't necessarily live in the dorms, even though they're a foreigner student at Iwa. So it is possible if you don't get a dorm, if you don't want a dorm, you can go to uh, one of the other houses in Ide or Xinjiang. Even Hongdae, actually. Hongdae is only two stops away, so it's very easy to just travel to Iwa. It might only be 15 minutes. And then orientation for freshman students and course registration. Number eight, the final point is course opening and physical checkup. 2016 incoming students are required to undergo a physical checkup administered by Iwa Women's University Health Service Center. If the student is found to have an intractable disease or physical defect that may interfere with her academic performance, she must comply with the university's decision to take a leave of absence or to make other arrangements. And then next, it details scholarships, but I'm sure this video is long enough, so I can go over those in another video if you guys want to see more of that. I already said that there's only a 1% acceptance rate, so, but that's only for one of the scholarships, which is the one that Ewa gives out. And then there's more dorm information. Uh, they have a new dorm this year, actually, which one of you emailed me about, and we had to look into it together. And this is, I think, the best part of being an undergrad. You have the option of receiving a meal plan. You also have the option of applying to Hanwuri, which is the freshman slash just native student dorm up on campus. And they have a cafeteria actually on their first floor, which is really convenient because you have curfew that you must attend. Yay, international students like me who were just exchanged for one semester did not have curfew and it was wonderful. But you do have options for meal plans. You can have no meal plan or you can have 180 meals, 50 meals per month, 145, which is 40 per month and 110, which is 30 per month. Some qualifications and more details for the dorms are as follows. Students can stay at dormitory, which is Hanwori, during one year, but please note that each student has to apply individually for dormitory starting from the summer or winter vacation in the second semester. So basically, if you apply and get accepted to live in the dorm, you can stay there for the full academic year, but it is not guaranteed that you will have that same room or be able to stay in the dorms at all for the next year. So you either need to reapply or find somewhere off campus to live. The room rates are per semester, 860,000 won, and during vacation, so summer or winter vacation, it is 590,000 won. And the entrance fee, so paying to live in the dorms, is 120,000 won. And that is in the undergraduate student dorm. In the graduate student dorm, it is much more expensive. It is 1,110,000 won. And vacation is 900,000 won. So in American currency, it's about $1,100 for a semester and during vacation is about 900 so pretty expensive undergraduate student dorms the type of room is two bedroom main facilities each room includes a bed closet desk refrigerator and in the entire building so shared is the dining hall gym study room prayer room computer room lounge laundry room cafeteria and there is a kitchenette on each floor for the graduate student dorm the type of room has two bedrooms and the main facilities include a bed, closet, desk, refrigerator, and for the whole building you share a seminar room, gym, computer room, common room, prayer room, laundry room, cafeteria, and a kitchen on each floor. I will say this, my kitchenette for the international dorm was a closet with a sink and a microwave. So don't get carried away with the thought of a kitchen because it was a little disappointing. If the dormitory fee is not paid within the required time, the qualification will be canceled. And for contact information, undergraduate at Hanwori is, I will link it below, as well as the contact information for the graduate dorm. So I'm just gonna have all the contact information for you. And yeah, there's just more numbers here. 
Once again, I will have all the contact information for you. And then there's a campus map. Look how pretty. It's a huge campus and everything is a hill. No matter where you go, up or down, you will be on a hill. But, you know, imagine my shock to find out Yonsei is even bigger and more mountainous. And that's about it. The rest just has, um, there is an application form included in English and in Korean. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to email the contacts. You could ask me, but again, I didn't go through this process. So it would not be as maybe sound or trustworthy as contacting the actual people that work at IWA, but I just thought I would put that out there for you guys. I don't know the percentage of those who apply who get accepted to the foreign program at IWA as an undergraduate, but it seems a lot easier than what some of you might be afraid of. I know it's very daunting, but all application to college is daunting. And if you want this, you need to work for it. But this is a time of your life where we are still in transitionary periods. Our entire lives have been transitionary periods. We were children and now we're bigger children and now we're like almost done being children. But throughout all this time, we've been, you know, in a period of just constantly evolving. And college is one of the last times where we get to evolve and choose who we really want to be. If you guys really want to go to school in Korea, if you really want to go to school at IWA, don't give yourself excuses. Don't tell yourself now's not the time or it's stupid or anything like that. Really go for it and do what you want. If it means you work really hard and need to save up money, that's fine. If it means you might fight with your parents, it's not their life, it's yours. You really just need to take what you want and just run with it. Korea is amazing, IWA is amazing. I was only there for one semester as a study abroad student, but that one semester changed my life. I, there's not a single thing I regret about going to IWA, even as just a study abroad student. It's incredibly, incredibly special. If any of you get accepted to this school, I'm jealous, I'm envious, but I'm also very proud and happy for you. So I wish everyone the absolute best of luck. Really, just if anyone gets accepted who watched this video, let me know. I'll cheer for you. I will never get tired of cheering for people who get accepted to this school. I just, I was only there for like three or four months, guys, but like my love is so deep. And really just, if no one else has told you this, you can do it. And there's no reason why you can't. You are the only thing holding you back. It is completely feasible. And it might be hard. You might not get accepted, but it's better to try and fail than not try at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this will probably end up to be a very long video. Um, if you want to follow my daily life, follow my Instagram, which is still Rachel Rides Giraffes, despite changing my YouTube handle name. Um, and thanks for watching. I probably already said that. I know this was a terribly long video. Uh, my mouth is dry. I'm gonna go have some water. Uh, my roommates are downstairs waiting to watch Game of Thrones because I just started that, so no spoilers. Um, and yeah, my next video will be touring my new room and I will have more Ewa videos like where to eat on campus and more Korea videos like vlogs coming in the future. So thanks for sticking around and watching. If you even watch this far and you're bothering to hear me talk about this stuff, thank you, you the real MVP. And I have to go drink some water. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.